Hey everyone, today let's go through lead code problem 2544, alternating digits. Um, a pretty straightforward problem. Let's see how quickly we can get it done, work through that. Uh, you are given a positive integer n. Each digit of n has a sign according to the following rules. The most significant digit is a sign a positive sign. So the first, uh, first digit is always positive. Each other digit has an opposite sign to the adjacent digits. So following the first one, every single one is having an opposite sign. Uh, plus, minus, plus. Okay, that's the rule. So first one is plus, plus, minus, plus. Okay, so same rule goes for here. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. All right, um, pretty straightforward. So the way that I think of doing this is there are multiple ways to do this. So um, one way of doing this is that we can first count how many numbers, how many digits are there in this given number. Um, it shows is the max, the upper bound is 10 to the uh, power of nine, um, pretty small. If the number of digits is odd, so we can use modular sign to go through every single digit, but starting from the right side. So we need to know if the number of digits is odd or even. If it is odd, that means that we go from the right side, the right side we can put plus sign here, right? And then we alternate until all the way we finish the most significant digit. But if the number of digits is even, for example, here, there is a total of six digits here, the last digits that we start to go through to build up this result is going to be negative. That's it. Uh, we don't even need to cast to consider stack overflow because oh, like we run over the boundary of the Java max integer or Java uh, minimum integer because its uh, constraints is this and uh, it's the result is just integer. All right, so that's the, that's the approach we're going to take. So first, we'll see how many digits are there. I'll have a variable called digit. And also I'll have one variable called original so that I can go through, I can mutate this n uh, while n not equal to zero digits will plus plus and n will keep uh, dividing it by 10. And once that is done, so we have a Boolean variable called whether it's called plus or not. So that is digits. If this one divided by two not equal to zero, that means it's an even, uh, the number of digits is odd. So the beginning one is the one on the very uh, right, which is the least significant one is going to be a plus. All right, so while original not equal to zero. So the reason we want to have an original variable here is that because we're mutating n. So um, at the end of the first while loop, n is going to be zero. So we want to retain the original input of n. So that's why I used an original here. If original, um, so we want to start from, use the modular sign is going to help us iterate through every single digit of this given number. Then we'll call it a last digit original modular 10. Um, if plus then uh, I need one more variable, we'll call it result. Result here, result. If this is the case, last digit will just uh, plus this because it's a, a plus sign. Otherwise, result will just uh, mi minus this number. And then after this, we'll just negate plus itself so that it automates, right? And in the, uh, also after this, we need to uh, divide original by 10. So it keeps shifting towards the right so that we get the next least significant number until the original number becomes zero. In the end, we'll just return result. Let's run this and see if it's accepted. I don't need that high. All right, submit, we'll see. Accepted. 
And yeah, this is the solution to this problem. Again, this is a super straightforward problem that showed up last night um, during the contest. Um, there are multiple ways to solve this problem. This is just one pretty straightforward and um, simple way to do this. Of course, there are many other elegant and simpler ways to solve this. Just let me know, comment down in the uh, description. Uh, please let me know how you approach this problem. Smash the like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm, and I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next one.